Hi everybody, this is Michael Hildebrand and I'm your host on the Sleep Trust Podcast, where I'm talking about how to gain back trust in your ability to have a superb sleep again. So in this very first episode of Sleep Trust, I'll give you a brief introduction to my person and, far more important, dive into the concept of sleep trust. My name is Michael Hildebrand and I've been working as a sleep coach over the last several years and doing so I had the big opportunity to gain a deep, deep understanding of what really helps people to have a superb sleep. And doing this over the last couple of years, I somehow came to the feeling or conclusion that I really want to share this knowledge with as many people as possible to help people to gain back their sleep trust and therefore have a superb sleep again. So this is basically what we're doing here and I have a deep belief not only that everybody deserves to have a great sleep but that everybody really can have a superb sleep. As this is the first episode of Sleep Trust, I won't be digging into any particular sleep-related topic right now other than me introducing the core concept behind sleep trust. But there's one thing I want to share with those of you who are getting sleep coached right now or uh, getting advice from a doctor because you are uh, issuing sleep-related problems at the, at the moment. Please ask your advisors if they are superb sleepers. And if they hesitate to answer or if they um, maybe even honestly admit that they aren't, then please, please get advice from somebody else. You know, a mentor once told me, you don't want to get fitness tips from uh, the, the guy in the pub uh, drinking a beer and uh, having a, a, a big belly in front of him. That, that's a thing you don't want to do. You want to go to Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know. If, if you want to learn drinking beer, uh, he may be the right guy, but you, you get the concept. And as simple as it is, it's, uh, it's really, really uh, fundamental. So... Uh, please, please, um, if you want to take one thing out of this podcast and you're one of these people, then do that and uh, just a ask them in a friendly manner. You know, they're, they're good people and they want to help you, but get help from those who know what they're, uh, wh wh what they're speaking from. And I don't mean theoretically, but uh, practically. And um, that, that's my uh, the, uh, single one tip for this episode. What can you expect from this podcast? Well, Obviously, you can expect to get information all around sleep and gaining your sleep trust. But you can also expect to get entertained to a certain level because we believe that things that don't entertain you, at least mostly, are not worth your attention. You can also expect this podcast to come out once a week on Wednesday. Uh, it will always be around 10 minutes and... Um, Occasionally, we will have additional materials for you. You can download on the sleeptrust.eu website to support you building up your sleep trust. And if we link to additional material on the sleeptrust.eu website, you can count on that this information will be free for you. So let's turn over to the most important topic of this introductional podcast episode, which is to give you a little insight into the concept behind sleep trust. Basically, the idea and the concept got born when I was doing my research a couple of years ago looking for the real sleep professionals because as a sleep coach, I know that if I want to enhance people's ability to sleep, I really have to understand how sleep works. And to do so, it's always best to look at the people who sleep best and follow or copycat or you name it, what they do right. So do my research, I went through, you know, uh, all s kinds of categories you, you can or can't imagine, starting with athletics, because I thought sports is a good thing, you know, people who do sports tend to have a good sleep, uh, went over to meditation professionals, did research on managers, uh, workers, um, gender-specific views, and then I started to ripple up ages. Uh, and eventually, I found the real sleep professionals. And these, and that was a little bit shocking for me in the beginning because it was that obvious, these sleep professionals turn out to be the babies. Well, think about that for a second. 
babies are uh, little human beings who are not able to do anything on their own. They're completely dependent on, on their parents caring for them and building up a trustful uh, environment. So uh, a baby sleeps up to 16 hours a day. And that's a tremendous amount of time if you think about it. And it does so not by practicing to sleep or planning when to sleep or you name it. Uh, they do so by just closing their eyes when they're tired and falling asleep. And this is when I started, you know, to build up the concept all around sleep trust and putting this at the real core of the concept, trusting in your ability to sleep. And the best thing about it, and that is what I really, really loved from the beginning on, is that this also means that you and I, everybody on this planet, was once a sleep professional in their own lives. So we just have to take you back in time to uh, get back or gain back your ability uh, to sleep. Superb. Maybe not 16 hours. That's not what I'm recommending right here. But, you know, you, you can have the good feeling that you did sleep at some point in the past. And probably uh, you, you can even remember that point in the past. You probably won't have to wander back uh, until you were a baby where your memories are probably going to fade away at some point. At least mine are. Uh, but you can have the good feeling that you were able to sleep superb and that you are going to be able to sleep superb again. And I find it to be so helpful to know that you do not have to have more skills than a baby to reach a superb sleep. And that's just a fantastic thing to, to know. That said... This podcast is not only for people who are having issues with their sleep, but also for everybody who just thinks the topic all around sleep is interesting or wants to improve the quality of their sleep. And saying the quality of their sleep, uh, I do not actually mean the quality of the sleep, but the quality of the time you go to rest. Because after a long and hard day, and you know, nowadays people tend to have to work harder and harder. Every year, uh, things go faster and get more uh, brutal on a certain level. Um, I think it's just so important that you have these places where you go to rest and you just have the opportunity to feel really good before you sleep and the day uh, begins and all, all uh, things uh, you have to handle again start up. So uh, this is uh, going to be a major part of the podcast too, to just make you feel even better when you go to sleep. With that, we're coming to landing of this first episode of the Sleep Trust podcast. If you have any topics you find to be interesting for you and or our listeners, please feel free to drop me an email at podcast at sleeptrust.eu. That's podcast at sleeptrust.eu. And I'll definitely come back to you on, on that I hope you tune in next week again when we will be talking about the biorhythm. Until then, have a superb sleep. Hey there, and thanks for listening to the Sleep Trust Podcast. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you want to get further information on this podcast or material that will help you to gain back your sleep trust, please check out sleeptrust.eu. That's sleeptrust.eu, where you will get lots of information around sleep. And here comes some legal stuff. Everything on this podcast is my opinion only, so do not take it as an advice, as I am not a doctor, nor have I considered your personal situation. If you feel that you need medical advice, please consider getting an appointment at your doctor of trust. If you want to give me any kind of feedback on this podcast, feel free to email me at podcast at sleeptrust.eu. I hope you tune in again next week, and until then, have a good sleep.